Designation of Congressman Tom Marino went into effect. Governor Tom Wolf has set the date now for a special election to replace him. The 12th district is made up of all or parts of at least 15 counties. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable has more now from your local election headquarters. The news came in a tweet Thursday from Governor Tom Wolf saying, Having heard the concerns of county officials, I am scheduling the special election to fill the remainder of Congressman Tom Marino's term on May 21st to coincide with the primary election. That decision comes as a relief to many leaders throughout the 12th district, including those in Wyoming County. Having been caught off guard by Marino's resignation, commissioners were worried the governor would have picked a different date, which could have cost them up to $60,000 to run a special election. For such a small county, um, if it cost us $60,000, just think what it would cost our surrounding counties and everything. Wyoming County Commissioner sent this letter to the governor, urging him to put the special election on the same day as the primary in May. They believe it made the most fiscal and practical sense. It's harder and harder to find people to work polling That's places, sure. and uh, a, a lot of them are older people as... I am older, and it puts a burden on them because it's, it's a long day for them. As this map shows, the 12th Congressional District is massive, extending from Susquehanna County out west to Clinton County and down all the way to Juniata and Perry Counties. The Wyoming County Director of Elections says if the governor chose any other date earlier than May 21st, they could have been in a real mess with their voting machines. If there's a recount or an audit or something, that is mandated by the state after an election, those machines have to be locked down and untouched until that 30 days is up. Fortunately, we now know that won't happen. In Tunkhannock, Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. And Marino just started his last term in office when he announced his resignation, so the special election winner will actually serve until January 3rd, 2020. He announced he is stepping down to take a still unannounced job in the private sector and a familiar face may be running for Marino's congressional seat. We'll tell you who on Eyewitness News at 6.